All right, well, this is day one of a specialized instructor class. We are, um, there's the moon, there's our fire. We're actually on a piece of an old highway. You can see the lines right here, they come through. And this is an old highway and we're parked over here. But yeah, this is actually old highway two, a place called Sulphur Springs. Um, pretty much an abandoned piece of highway. Here's another line. There's another center stripe line. And there's our fire. We just kind of take over the highway. Another stripe right down there where the snow starts. We got our fire pit. Beautiful out here though. We got the stars that we could have saw seen. Now they're kind of going away. I'll show you our shelter situation we got here. So, this is where we're sleeping. We just set up a tarp situation like this, right beside a vehicle. And there's my bed, McLean's bed. This is our contraption we got for our system. We got a little bit of movement from the tarp, but it's okay. Just to keep the, not for rain, because it's not going to rain. All this is going to do is just keep the condensation off of our heads and keep our blankets dry um, and we just have everything tucked in just enough and I think we'll be good you could actually literally move back a little bit now if you wanted to to get under there more um, and then we just did these uh, carousel, carousel ties right here that just kind of hold things together bloop, bloop. Another one out here to another rock. It's a pretty simplistic deal. We're just using some jute rope and some old sticks that are around here. We don't have a lot of trees. We have a lot of scrub oak, sage, brush, things like that. Um, we did find some of this hard deciduous trees here. We have a post that we can move. I have it anchored there, but this is our sleep apparatus tonight. But we have a view that overlooks and you can't really see it unfortunately but we have a view that overlooks there's a canyon right here where the grass ends that goes straight down to a creek bottom and then over there there's mountains and stuff that you can't see where the dark is right now but anyway i wanted to show you kind of what we got going here but yeah we just kind of this old piece of road I mean, this is an old highway section we just kind of set it up we backed off here it's a pretty supered highway here. So super generally means that it has a big corner to it, a bank. And you can see this comes around and really steep actually through here, isn't it? Very steep. But uh, and then it comes around and goes out over that way. Again, there's our fire pit right on the edge of the pavement. <laughs> we just set it and forget it. So literally the edge of the pavement is right about here. Where I'm pointing by the base of that rock goes around there or maybe no it goes all the way up to there and beyond so this is all pavement you can see where the road actually edge of the road is right there so the edge of the road this was a highway that's why it's so wide and this would have been our westbound lane and that would have been the eastbound lane people coming back could you imagine taking this road 50 60 years ago it's just nuts this is what people would have saw driving <laughs> probably 45 miles an hour is probably top speed through here crazy but yeah we're, we have this right on the edge of the highway because we're literally on the highway asphalt here boy they don't make asphalt like this anymore you can't even get a road in spokane or any city to last this long look at this this is really really old pavement center line again you can see they it was okay to pass people right here it's fine you can pass them right no, it was like the passing lane started there all the way around but this is just a big sweeping corner it follows this and it goes that way circles around and then goes back up and over that way where i was showing you behind us behind the camp boom and there's nick's vehicle right there they're just sleeping inside their vehicle because that's a lot easier when we're doing this type of stuff and that's due west so anyway guys thanks for following Remember to like and subscribe. Alright. So this is the morning. 
This is where we uh, stayed right over the edge here on that road that comes down. There's McLean. Nick is coming up the mountainside. So this is Sulphur Springs, Washington. There's two of them. Nanook, come here. Dogs are playing out there in the field. Nanook, come here. That is towards Wenatchee that way. And that's towards Moses Lake that way. Grand Coulee Dam that way. Sulphur Spring. Dogs! Dude, that's awesome. That looks sci-fi as fuck. Yeah, it does. All right, well, we're returning here. The last training spot we wanted to go was the farce. So we have an behind us. Watch out for them rockers. Left, left, left. There you go. You got lots of room. There. So, this is our road. This is actually just an old highway. And it's all grown over with bushes in the middle of the highway. Look at that. And you can see in spots the lines too. So, it's pretty cool. Where we're at. Oh, 